So today I'm going to be reading a time capsule that I left for myself four years ago when I was a freshman in college. I have now officially graduated from NYU, so I'm pretty excited to see what I left myself. Welcome back to the channel guys, my name is Justin, and if you're new here, I talk about tech and self-development. But today is going to be a bit more of a personal informal video, it's going to be a bit more loose, so if that's not your cup of tea, feel free to click off this video. But for those of you who want to stay around here, I am more than excited to share this moment with you. I don't think that me four years ago would have thought that I'm doing YouTube, but you know, let's see and let's figure find out. So just a bit of context before I actually read the letter. Um, my freshman year of college was actually pretty rough. I moved all the way from California to New York City school. I attended NYU School of Engineering. And I remember that my first year was actually very rough. There was more than one time where I had considered transferring and it was a pretty bad situation to be honest. I honestly didn't know whether or not I'd want to stick at NYU. And honestly, if it wasn't for the fact that I just didn't know where to go next, I think I would have probably left. I remember to myself at that time that I had written myself a letter to 2025 and I had thought to myself, well, maybe I should write myself a letter for 2021. Now that's about all I remember, I actually don't remember anything that I wrote in any of my letters for the one in 2021 or for the one in 2025, but let's see what the one in 2021 has to say. I feel like this is actually a bit scary to read because I've known of this letter's existence for a very long time, but I've been avoiding it. Um, I actually know for my 2025 letter, I even wrote, hey, Justin, if this is in 2025, stop reading. <laughs> so I'm very curious to see what I wrote to myself. Hi Justin, you have now graduated. This is coming from you, finals week of college freshman year. You are now almost done in one more week with your first year in college. How are you doing? I hope that you're still doing computer science, doing writing, and hopefully you have found people that you can trust. There isn't too much to say. Hopefully counseling went well over the years, that school got better, that you found people, and, the fine, and that you found things that you love and that you keep helping others. And hopefully now you are fine with loving yourself. We live once, so make the most of it. Meet more people and keep chasing after everything you can. Signing out, Justin Lin. Published May 10th, 2018. So I guess that's when I wrote it. So I actually need a bit of time to process reading this. Um, I read it, but none of it really stuck in my head. <sighs> Yeah, actually this letter is a lot shorter than I remember it to be. I'm guessing my 2025 one might be longer. So yeah, I feel like my reactions to it after reading this is, this definitely sounds like me in freshman year of college. It was a really rough time. I had just started counseling and I think, and I think that me four years ago and like even now I have this entire idea of I don't want to lose myself or you know, like the essence of myself. I feel like one of the things that I was always scared about, especially my senior year of high school and probably my freshman year of college was, am I still going to be the same person four years from now when I start work, when everything begins to change? Am I just going to fall into the system where I forget about my dreams, the things I want to do? I can definitely say to me, hi, four years ago in 2018, that you haven't lost your way. You have found amazing people to like stick by your side and you stick by their side. You have helped a lot of people um, financially, emotionally, you've been there for others. And yeah, it has been actually a really tough four years, but you did get through it. Um, counseling went well, you know, for the first two years, it was quite difficult. Um, you actually got hospitalized your sophomore year. So yeah, that's a look forward to. But otherwise, you know, everything everything really started going uphill, you know, especially during your third year and your fourth year, things just really started to click into place. Now there were some events that probably will shock you and probably will forever change your perspective, but I don't think that you've gotten any more negative. Instead, I think you've only gotten more positive and wanting to help others more. Still trying to figure out the entire thing about, you know, our grand plan for freedom, but yeah. I guess that's it for me four years ago. Anyways, that's it for the video. If you guys liked it, feel free to leave a comment down below. Tell me what you thought about leaving a letter to myself four years ago. And also maybe I'll leave a letter to myself in the future. Actually, actually, I'm pretty sure that one of my videos will be to leave myself a letter in the future. So 
We'll see when that comes out. I just need to think of a proper letter. Have you guys left any time capsule for yourself? I'm actually kind of curious. Also, if you guys would love to join my Discord community, I have a link down below in the description. I highly recommend to join. I love to talk to people on there and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.